All right, hey guys, welcome to part nine. And right now we are just waiting to get inside of Carlito's hideout to meet up with Isabella and give her his locket, which he gave to us after he was killed in the, um, what's the, I was gonna say butcher shop, but there's a correct term, the meat processing center, I don't know. Same thing, you know what I mean. So you see there about two minutes left to get the facts, the facts, the definitive facts. Here we go. Are you ready for the facts, the definitive facts right now? The wrong way. Yeah, if only I had some sort of clue. Mmm, the locket. We shall see if that plays any part. I mean, what are the chances that it would? They're very low. I, c I can't see it helping at all. He's dead. All he worried about was you in the end. But damn it! He died without telling me a damn thing. Look at the random letters on that gas canister. You know, I thought he was terrorist scum. And all he really cared about was his sister. The jerk. Here. He wanted you to have this. He lost the necklace bit. Doing quite a good job on her belly button. Watch your mama. I don't believe it. Did you figure it out? Pachamama. Mother Earth. Our parents said that a lot. The place we lived, Santa Cabeza, was blessed with nature. <laughs> Please believe me. When I say my brother didn't want all this, he only wanted to live in peace in Santa Cabeza. That was the facts. All cases closed, but...
Oh. Yeah, let's look at this gas canister then. This canister contains the fulfilledia. So yeah, be careful. I heard that was very very flammable. I wish I could read these better. Bruce. I don't know. Did she say anything? I know he was wrong. He harmed too many innocents and thought only of himself. Even so. God, Carlito. Okay, so that's kind of awkward. Um, yeah, I thought we were going to get more. So do not, do not even get told what... I thought something useful might have been on his laptop. Frank, the emergency line's been freed up. I'll give headquarters a call. Hang on. DHS headquarters. This is Agent Jessica McCarney. McCarney. We have an emergency situation. Okay, so we're going to go back and things will turn out okay now, right? I guess, I don't know. Uh, so... What time is it? 20 past 10. Let's just go uh, go back to the security room. I guess, because... Ain't nothing happening with Isabella. We're at the uh, super dark... Um, like even the the lights don't even bother turning on at this point. I don't know why. It didn't seem like a very good system. Although they're on they're on in their uh, chrysalis. Oh. Frank. It's over. HQ's decided to ignore us. What? What do you mean, ignore us? I contacted headquarters, but... The government has decided to deny all knowledge of what happened here. Special forces will arrive for cleanup at midnight. They'll take everyone out. Zombies, people, Everyone. Oh my god. That's a major bummer. So I guess we're going to go see her. Good job. Oh, we have milk and another coffee creamer anyway. And I always forget we have the skateboard. Okay. I was just seeing if the watch was like, go here, go there. I, I don't know what we are meant to do right now. Like, I don't know if we're meant to go and tell Isabella that the, the cleanup operation is happening. The red zombie eyes are cool though. I still I still stand by that. Cuz 
Because I remember the military um, are there in overtime. But I didn't think they were just going to come in and like clear out. Because all the rooms are going to be empty then after that. Another one. <laughs> That's like an ugly sister. Jessica McCartney. Talk about your close calls. You contacted us just in time. Your boss thought we should have a talk with you before the operation begins. We'll be taking you into custody. If you sign an agreement to keep your mouth shut about all this, you'll be free to go. And again, like Barnaby, we have another random ass zombie transformation for no reason. Like, I don't even think that's ever explained. Like either. Like why? Why? Nothing happens. There are no zombies. Because she's sad, she gets turned into a zombie. Like it makes no sense. But whatever. There's an achievement for uh, taking pictures of Zombie Brad and Zombie Jesse. Uh, which we've already got. But yeah, you're going to do the Brad one. Just after... The Colito fight. Jesse? So, 13... Actually, what happened to Otis? Yeah, so he's gone. That's still welded shut, that makes sense. Oh. Look at that neck, he's got like the longest neck ever. And that guy. And so look, like, yeah, there you go. Perfect. So because she has boobs, that's erotica. There you go. So that's the end of Jesse McCarney. And I've got, I've got no idea what Brad's name was. Actually, where the... Uh... So the survivors are gone. Did the military take them? Did they get killed? Is there anything in here? Okay, so I guess we're going back to Isabella. There's kind of like limbo point at this point. Like it's just like 
Okay, waiting for the military to turn up. Everything's kind of gone to cock. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go back to Isabella, see if that does anything. No mention of Otis at all. Although we know that he didn't die because he, his funeral is happening at, or in Dead Rising 3 for like no reason. Other than they were like, hey we have this, Let, let's make some kind of link. So yeah, they have the funeral for Otis, look, look, look how many there are now. So I'm going to go back to Isabella, talk to her, um, have the the military cutscene. Oh, come on! Because they turn up in about 40 minutes. See, skateboard again. Always forget. I don't know if going to Isabella does anything, but we'll see. So I'll try and talk to her, and then when she, like I'm guessing she's going to do, is like, doesn't really say anything, then I'm going to have the cutscene happen, and then leave the hole. And then go back in the hole and see if that triggers her saying anything. Cool design on the skateboard. Oh, he's got like little arms, that's funny. Cool. When, when, when did I lose the chainsaw? They put one down, forget about it, that was dumb. See, that's absolutely no help. Come on. Oh, almost went too far. Okay. Total and complete destruction, oh god. I'll be honest, she's not who I'd want in a, you know, a combat situation. What time is it now? We've got 50 minutes to wait until the army people come. And then at that point, I'm like, oh, do, do we just do nothing for 12 hours? I'm gonna have a look where this entrance leads out to. Zombie Monte. Okay, it is actually different, so where are we now? Oh, we're just further along next to the hunting shed. The hunting shed! God damn it! Where did I throw my gun? I should learn not to do that move when I have things in my hand. He just like... Fucking... Tosses him. Oh, there it is. Okay. Come on. There we go. Let's see if there's any drink in here so I don't waste what I've already got. Okay, that's a shame. It's like removed all the wine that you have. Oh, when I left the door open. Okay, good job. Where's my... There it is. Oh! Here we go. The military cleanup.
butt shot. Yeah, so there you go, there's the, uh, the soldier introduction. Oh cool, and they closed the door for me, that was nice. Um, this is sniper. It's your right, now exercise it. Hmm. I probably don't need like, three skateboards. Okay, now let's go and see Isabella. Uh, where is the... There we go. Now, I shouldn't say anything different here. I'm just going to go back to the security room and wait at the helipad because that's all I can really do. Oh no, she stood up. Maybe something might happen. Oh! Cutscene! And now she sat down, okay. The military. They'll come, won't they? Just like Santa Cabeza. The government wants to cover this up too. Wow, she's been useless lately. Okay, so now what? Nothing changed at all, they never admit it when it's their fault, they didn't at Santa Cabeza and they won't now, and he's like, she's right, if we die here the evidence will be covered up and the truth will stay in the shadows forever, nothing will change. So we have to survive. Oh, that's where we have to survive, we'll let the military to their work, then make our move. So what, we might just wait here for ages? Times are now half twelve. You may as well just go to the helipad for a bit. I'm gonna say for a bit, like twelve hours. Okay, so where is where where's this where where where's the monetary then? Huh? Oh, there you go, there's one. See, so look at that. This bullet sponge. I'll have my trusty coffee creamer on top of this plank again. And it's actually a good spot to... Take so many bullets. Alright, we don't need um, that one anymore because it's basically useless. Oh, speaking of useless, good job. Is that it? Is there only two guys around here?
Yeah. He's too small. Oh, we have full health now anyway. Crap. Hey. Or if we've got any in the uh, in the park. Skateboard, there we go. Yeah, we will because there's like dead bodies everywhere. So yeah, I'm probably just going to chill out at the helipad, basically till we're done, actually. There you go, there's another, actually another two. And then just keep swapping the guns out. So you have more bullets. Oh! Oh, and you can only do one shot if you just. If you just run with it without aiming, you can only do one shot, which is super weird. Okay, crap, this isn't going well. Give me my milk. Whew. Okay, so from now on I'll just stick to the uh, chainsaws. Which, okay, drop that one, because I don't need it. Get another one. Oh shit. Look at that. Look at that. That's why it's the best weapon in the game. Shredding them. Shredding them. Need more juice. And again. That, that should be okay. And then get rid of that and get a katana. Look at that. Look at that, that's incredible. Look! Oh shit. Ah, oh, gotta go all the way along. Where? There it is. Yep, we've got more. Come on in. There you go. That's what you get. Oh, more of them. And another. Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah. Come on. And that's why we needed some juice. Times are now almost two. Any more soldiers? No. Okay. All right. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it, and I'll probably go and check around like six or eight uh, on Isabella, see if anything else happens, if I can. I don't know if there's another cutscene, any more dialogue. Um, but if not, I'll skip ahead to the finale, I guess. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then for the ending 
of our 72 hours in the Willamette Parkview Mall. So thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next time for the next one.